Uh, hi, uh, my name is Amit Kumar Bharatiya and I'm going to perform a sharp debridement technique under Dr. Palmer. And for this technique, uh, we've been asked to use a hog thigh part, but as I am a vegetarian, I'm going to use a, a navel orange for this technique. Uh, for this technique, we've been provided with the supplies, which includes a number 10, number 15 scalpel, uh, suture removing kit which includes scissor and forceps and a measuring uh, scale. So first I'm gonna use demonstrate uh, how to measure the surface area of the wound. So I'm gonna use a measurement scale. Uh, we're gonna use a centimeter side not the inches side. So first I'll go and measure the length of the wound which is uh, 2.5 centimeter and the width is uh, around which is like 4.5 centimeter so while calculating uh, the surface area of the wound uh, where length and breadth is multiplied is 11.25 square centimeter square uh, the second technique uh, the second thing which I'm gonna demonstrate is uh, saving and pairing where I'm gonna use a number 10 number 10 scalpel So while using this scalpel, uh, I have a we have a specific uh, proceed like uh, way of holding the scalpel. So uh, we're gonna place between third and the fourth finger, and the rest of the four fingers like wrap around the scalpel to give more stability. And now we're gonna start the demonstrate the procedure. So we're gonna hold the scalpel almost like 45 degree uh, angle. So once you go and make a cut, you're gonna flat the scalpel and go gently, make sure your forearm is rested and we're gonna do the sewing motion which is as uh, been asked by Dr. Palmer. So with the sewing motion, you're gonna just move your wrist, movement of your wrist and the fing uh, fingers, not the uh, forearm. So whenever you get the debridement, the debridement part should be the necrotic tissue should be like a uh, visible, very uh, trans transparent, so the light can easily pass through it. And make sure you don't go very deep into it. If you go deep into it, it's gonna be painful for the patient and all the soft tissue under the skin, it's gonna be visible. So just be careful. This is like a third time I'm attempting to do it. First previous two times I was I was doing good but in between I just like did some deep uh, incision which is uh, and it's like the underneath the white part is very visible. I do not scrape or anything on the wound.
okay now you can see uh, the, the layer under the necrotic tissue it's not very like wide and everything so I guess I did a good job but I think over here I did a little bit of deeper uh, debridement so but the rest I guess I did well if you can if you want to see here you, it's like the the light the part the debridement the necrotic tissue is like very trans transparent the light can easily pass through it hope you can see in the video okay, okay that was our first technique the other technique we're gonna do is uh, the scoring and a cross hatching technique and in this technique we're gonna dye the uh, the skin of the orange where I had to make I'm gonna use a number 15 scalpel in this the the position of holding the scalpel is like like holding a pencil and we're gonna dye the skin I guess my dye is like dried up so I had to add some more dye on it so you can And during this all the procedures uh, the therapist and the patient should be uh, comfortable the therapist has to position himself while doing all this technique so as I told you before we're gonna hold the scalpel as I know uh, holding a pencil so but make sure don't hold it too close to the blade you need to be like a little bit uh, on the top of the blade part and when you do this procedure we're gonna do some vertical and a horizontal cuts <coughs> and uh, we're gonna use the curved part of the scalpel not the pointed part because the pointed part will be like go deep into it and will be painful for the patient so let's start the procedure and uh, make sure your forearm and everything are rested both the forearm, forearm are rested position the, the therapist and is well comfortable so let's do the procedure Make sure you don't go deep into it. If you go deep into it, you'll be able to see the white, uh, the soft tissue under the necrotic tissues. Okay, now we're gonna do the horizontal cut. okay you see here I think I'm not I well I don't uh, I guess I'm good because I can see the red dye in there okay so we finished with the two techniques now the last technique is the debridement of the stained muscle tissue. So for that, we're gonna use uh, the dye part of the orange, which is our necrotic tissue. So for this, we're gonna use a scissor and a forcep. So the, the technique to hold the scissor is like, you're gonna use a thumb and a ring finger. Okay, so just we're gonna use both the uh, like a thumb and the ring finger and your index finger goes on the junction of the scissors so that's gonna give you more stability while cutting the uh, necrotic tissue so and for the holding the forcep there are 
uh, two different techniques but I'm gonna use a technique like holding a forceps between my uh, first web space so that I think that will be like more comfortable for me okay so let's start the procedure and as I said earlier during this procedure your forearm need to be rested and you're gonna use the forceps to lift the necrotic tissue and we're gonna use the scissor to cut that uh, part and we're gonna take it out And we're going to use the middle two-third of the uh, scissor part to cut the uh, necrotic tissue. And make sure you don't leave the viable tissues with the necrotic part. My orange is not stable, it's like moving around, so it's like I'm having a little hard time in here.
ましたI guess and now I get the grip I'm doing a little faster than before Okay, as I see here, as you see here, I lifted a little bit of viable tissue, which is not, uh, it should not be there, but you have to be very careful while uh, doing the this procedure because uh, it's gonna be painful for the patient if you're gonna have a viable tissue. Yes. okay so I guess I'm almost uh, done with my uh, debridement of the stain muscle tissue so here is my end product and these are all my uh, necrotic tissue which I uh, cut it with my scissor and forcer for this technique a uh, few of the time I lift uh, take the viable tissue as you see in here uh, is a white part so which should not be done so just be careful and I guess uh, 
I'm done with this technique. Thank you.